Hello, it's uh, Ben with you guys again today. We're going to go over the plant Plumeria. So here is just an overview of the tree actually, no, more of a tree. Um, you can see as we approach it. Here is the base of the trunk. Let us get a close up of this trunk. There is the bark. And there are the leaves. If you notice over here, if we actually break it, you'll notice a white sap is coming out of the leaves. One precaution about this sap is that you should avoid getting in your eyes. They say the sap can cause intense irritation in the eyes and then also lead to temporary blindness. So avoid the sap, do not get it in your eyes. So let's start with its medical uses. Uh, the plant is generally an antimicrobial, has antioxidant, antiparasitic and anti-inflammatory properties. The leaves especially shown to be effective on dry and cracked feet as it has antifungal properties. So that you would actually use a poultice. You take leaves together, use a poultice and then put it on your dry feet and leave it there for a while so it heals up your cracked and dry feet. Also if you have any fungal infections on it, it can be effective against that. Besides that, the poultice is used for uh, swelling and inflammation, so that can also help if you put a poultice of leaves on a place that is swelled. The inner bark is used uh, for ulcers and is a purgative. So what you do is you take the inner bark, you would cook it in water, make an infusion and then you drink it so they say that actually the inner bark helps reduce acid and that's therefore it's effective against uh, ulcers. Then finally the inner bark can be used for intestinal worms so it can be effective against intestinal worms and you just do the same thing you'd make an infusion from the inner bark and drink the water. I would say one cup twice a day should be effective. Finally the flowers, we can see the flowers down here, very beautiful flowers, very nice smelling, pleasant smell, can be used to create essential oils, can also be used for perfume and for aromatherapy. So it's often used for aromatherapy, um, has stress relieving properties, and then can also be used for perfume. So if you ever want to make an essential oil, you can easily do that from the flowers of this plant. And you'll notice if you come when it's fully flowering, uh, the whole area will smell pleasant, smell perfumish, and uh, yeah, you'll really enjoy it also as an ornamental plant. So finally, the flowers can be brewed, brewed as a tea, or just eaten plain by themselves. Um, if you find a useful way to add them into your food, it can be something that's pleasant, something that gives nutrients, and uh, something that can be eaten. So there we go, there's Plumeria. 
Of course, again, all the research articles will be in the link below. And I'll see you next time.